Hi everyone, it's Sergei Martinsen here. It's a foggy winter afternoon and I am in Rygge in Østfold in Norway. And uh, here between uh, patches of farmlands there are uh, old oak trees. I'm going to use my 24 to 70 mm zoom. I have my Canon EOS 5D full frame sensor camera. I have my Gitzo tripod and my really right stuff ball head and uh, I'm using a cable release. I'm going to use uh, manual focus on the lens and uh, I set my uh, light metering mode to aperture priority. I select an uh, aperture f11 because I don't need so much depth of field in this session because the trees are in a distance and uh, ISO is 200 and out of the setting with f11 and uh, ISO 200 the camera will then select the shutter speed for me and in this light there's no need for graduated neutral density filters to balance the light because it's very even light what I'm going to look for is uh, graphical forms of the old oak trees here I'm using my 24 to 70 mm lens and now I have it at uh, 24 mm and I changed to 28 mm and here is 35 mm zoom into 50 mm and then up to 70 mm Now I'm going to shoot some vertical shots so those two old oak, oak trees over there. Take the camera down. There we go. Yes. One of the great things when it's uh, foggy is that uh, the landscapes will be more uh, mystical and uh, things that would be visible on a clear day in the background are now hidden and uh, that makes way for more uh, mystical images and also for more graphics. On foggy days we can have uh, some uh, drizzle and the drizzle can fog up the lens. So I bring with me a microfiber towel and then I can keep an eye on the lens and uh, just wipe away the water if there's some there. Now I'm going to shoot some um, panorama shots. To take panoramas uh, I need to overlap several images by 25% each overlap and uh, then I stitch them together in the development process. So I take uh, the first shot like this and then I need to overlap the next one by approximately 25% so then I need to move the camera to approximately here for the next shot and then the next shot goes here this was a good session out in the fog now it's time to pack up and uh, go home and uh, upload the images in Adobe Lightroom and uh, make a coffee, clean up uh, the tripods and my boots, they're very muddy. Uh, I'll see you inside and thank you for watching so far. Hello again, now I'm on the computer and let's take a look at uh, some of the images I took. We can see we have strong graphical forms against a grey backdrop and uh, I like this, the curvy form here and the lines and the graphical 
shapes. The next one, a vertical shot of two old oak trees. I like that one too. And a horizontal one. This tree has very strong graphical forms. Then we have a line going down this way. And here. And I also shot a panorama. And this is uh, stitched together from four images. So I overlap each image 25% approximately. And then I stitch them together in uh, Adobe Lightroom. And then we get nice panoramas. So that's an option you can use when you are out in the field. Try to look for composition that can be suitable for panoramas. So that was all I had for today and thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, share and like the video and I'll see you in the next video.